Hey guys, and just before I get into this video, if you guys want to uh, get yourself any Ultimate Team coins, PSN cards, Xbox cards, any of that sort of stuff, then check out Game Gold Trader. It is still the same as the Foot Shop. They've just decided to change their name, so it's still the same people. Don't worry about that. And of course, you guys can use Calfreezy at checkout for 5% off. They just changed their URL, so go ahead and check them out. I'll leave all the links down below, as always, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this little World Cup video now Please guys let me know do you guys enjoy seeing this World Cup content or would you prefer to see some of the normal foot stuff again? Let me know in the comments. Uh, what sort of videos are you guys enjoying the most? I'd love to hear what you guys would like to see from me But let's talk a little bit about today's video. So today we have a hybrid squad hip hip hooray at last I have managed to come up with a very nice little hybrid squad and it resembles a lot of my South American side to any who watched that video you know I really like playing with that team um, but there are a few changes and this particular um what do you call it? This particular uh, hybrid is a South American and Belgium hybrid. And you guys will see some of the players that I really like um, from, you know, uh, both South America and Belgium in this team. Anyways, um, on the back we have David Luiz and Dani Alves, arguably two of the most OP players in this game. In fact, I'd go out on a limb and say Danny Alves is the best right back in the game. I know you've obviously got Pizcek, you also have Abate, both very good right backs, but for me, no one beats Danny Alves. Going forward, he's so good, and also he can stick with any, any, any attacker that even if they got 95 pace he will stay with him and he can even bully some people off even though he is quite a small chap it was he's just hands down the best right back for me we also got the um the terminator featuring a wig aka david louise he's playing center back and uh, for me that guy is just a loose cannon you never know what you're gonna get you're either gonna get an absolute monster or you're just gonna get a headless chicken um at right mid we got lucas lucas in the world cup mode is so much better than what he is in the normal foot just as a heads up i, I don't like like him in the normal foot but I absolutely love him in World Cup he's so much better his ball control is fantastic and he's actually pretty good at finishing as CDM we got Fernando uh, I, I could have put um, the uh, Mascherano there but he actually doesn't link up when it comes to this hybrid you'll see that shortly and at cam I actually went with Kaka instead of Ronaldinho just because it's what the stream wanted I built this uh, team on stream by the way guys please go ahead and follow my stream it is actually mog.tv forward slash Calfreezy I stream quite a bit on there now I'm getting into the uh, getting into the routine of things, so go ahead and check that out. But uh, yeah, you guys decided you wanted Kaka ahead of um, the other attacking mids. You also had Bernard. There was another option. But uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, Belgian players I had involved in the team. So at centre back we have Company now. I mean Company and David Luiz as a centre back pairing that would of course normally work just fine on normal foot because they both play in the Premier League. But um, now. We have uh, now we have the World Cup, so they're separated by continents, and uh, I managed to make it work again, which is just awesome. At left back, we have Vertonghen. Now, of course, he is a centre back in normal foot, but he's a left back when he plays for Belgium. And you guys might say Cali's a little bit slow. I don't know if he'd be any good there, but trust me, he is actually really good. His strength just he just pushes any attacker off the ball, and I definitely say he actually works quite well. Going forward, he's not that great, and you can't whip any balls in. But that's why I got Hazard there at left mid. Another really really good player. And then we have my favorite strike partnership in the World Cup mode, which has got to be Falcao and uh, Jackson Martinez. He is so, so good. Um, I definitely, Falcao for me has been the best player on this game by a long shot. Um, admittedly, I haven't tried out your Ronaldo, Messi, or uh, even Robin, but those for me have just been insane. Here are a few goals that I scored. Um, as you can imagine, my two center backs, David Luiz and company, are lethal at corners. They're able to get in the air like really, really easily, and uh, I score a lot of headers because of that. Um, just because it's really that easy. Like I said, Lucas is so great down this wing. Uh, makes a really nice cross in there. And actually, with Jackson Martinez, I decided to take a touch because I know his touch is pretty good. And I had plenty of space there. A lot of times, um, I know that if uh, you know I'd maybe done that a few months ago, I probably would have just taken it first time. But I had enough space, and uh, that was a great ball whipped in. And chip chipping in the World Cup mode should be exactly like it is on normal foot. On um, the World Cup mode, it is really nice. You you score most of them. Them, and they're just really really accurate and I love a chipping on this particular um, thing and then on normal foot you just miss the most simple easy chips with the most ridiculous stuff like it's just so bizarre to me I don't know why it isn't just the same but uh, anyways 
We were actually uh, doing really well against this guy here. And Lucas, again, getting past his player. And Falcao just winning headers against center backs. The guy isn't that tall. He's got good jumping and good heading. But you just don't expect him to win those sort of balls. But he does every single time. And that's why, for me, he is just so, so good in this game. So strong. And I would recommend him in normal foot, too. I found that he's really good. A lot of the times, people might opt for um, Ibra and Falcao. That's something I wouldn't really recommend, though, if you decide to go with Ibra and Falcao on normal foot. Just because they're both quite similar players in the in the sense that they're big stocky and um they, they play like none of neither of them have a lot of pace so you're actually stuck uh trying to play some really slow football and it doesn't really work for me it might work for some other people but i recommend using at least falcao or ibra and pair them up with a fairly pacey striker anyways um this particular game that you're looking at right now, I managed to bring him back to 2-2 from being 2-0 down. And this game almost made me want to commit. He scored in the 92nd minute, I think it was. Literally on, like, just as the whistle was about to go. He gets a corner and he scored. And I almost snapped my desk in half. I went absolutely mad. I don't really rage at games all that much. But my god, man, I went just, I went berserk. I've never done that in FIFA before either. Anyway, it's like I said, that's a prime example there. The chips are just nice. They're fluid. They're, they are how they they should be and uh, I, I kind of wish it was the same as it was um, on the World Cup mode but uh, oh well anyway some uh, failed shots and we actually end up sorting it away none other than your man Jackson Martinez but that's gonna wrap it up guys I hope you did all enjoy this video if you did then make sure you leave a like um, show me your hybrid squads what sort of uh, videos would you like to see in the future more World Cup less World Cup back to normal foot let me know down in the comments I'll see you guys later bye bye